Hi guys, welcome back to another R2D2 tutorial here in Blender. So by the end of the previous tutorial, you should have a model now that looks something like this. And you can download the project file from the previous tutorial at the link below the video in the previous tutorial. The link below this video here will give you the, the um, project file as R2D2 stands at the end of this tutorial. Um, so if you're following along, you should have something like this. If not, skip back to the previous video download the project file and you can join in here. So um, I'm going to leave the head for a moment. These um, parts of the head here, uh, you can probably figure out how to do yourself. I will do them later, but um, what we're going to do now is the bottom area of the body here. So you'll notice in a moment our object has no bottom. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go over into edit mode. So we need to select our uh, body object. Into edit mode, um, shift, alt, and edge select. And we're going, I uh, we want to go in edge select mode. Um, shift, alt, and select that bottom ledge, edge. Once you've done that, we will go to tools and make edge and face. And that will give us a bottom face there. Um, now we're going to go to a bottom view. Uh, come out of edit mode and to object mode and we're going to create a circle object. Now the circle object we're going to move down here so we can see it. And then the next thing we're going to need to do is center it up and scale it up. So we want it to be about the same size as the base there but a little bit smaller. There's a small step between the bottom and this. So we'll just center this up in place. And then once we have this in position, that's about right, um, we'll come over into edit mode and vertex select. And what we're gonna do is select um, these vertices here. So we'll hit B for box select and we'll select all these vertices down here and we'll do the same on the other side and once we've selected those we go to scale on the x-axis and zero oh, wait a more moment we should actually just select one side to start with so scale x-axis and zero and then we drag this in like that. There. Okay, and then we go over to the other side. Box select. Select our edges. Scale. X. We missed these two edges here. Scale, X, and 0. And then drag this in as well. Now we're done with that. We can come back out into object mode and there is the shape that we're going to want. Now we're going to use this to project onto the bottom. So we're gonna use the knife project tool again. So we'll go to bottom view, select our object there, go into edit mode, tools and knife project. Now we've done that, you'll see it's cut out a hole for us in the bottom, which is the shape that we want. Now we can come back out into object mode. We can just hide this object for the moment. Select this back into edit mode. And now what we're going to need to do is select all of these new edges here. So edge select, shift and alt, and we'll go around and select those edges. Okay, now we have that. We're gonna to wanna to extrude these out. Whoops, go to the front view. Extrude them downwards. Um, so, you can see then we're going to have to scale it in so that we have this tapered edges. Now I'm going to use my reference image from the front view to get an idea as to how far down that should be dragged. 
and then we hit S to scale. We scale this in until it matches the taper that we have there. Okay. And there we have now the bottom part done. Next thing we'll do is make a face on there. And now we need to put in these recessed areas so we have this ribbing. So we'll do that with some loop cuts. So we'll make a loop cut here. And here. I'm also going to need some vertical loop cuts to make the ribbing. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces there. So we'll make one here and another here. So that's one, and then we'll have two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It won't be perfectly evenly spaced, but it's good enough. So come in here. So that's one, two, three, four. So we need two more. So five and six, what we'll do is place those in here, it's five and six. Then we can get hold of these faces. We'll go to the local view, E to extrude, enter and then we'll drag it in actually we could just go along and select all of these that we want e to extrude enter and then drag them in so it'll all be even And we need the same on this side here. Uh, this side is going to be flat and no ribbing. So you can see that we actually have a curved edge on there, which we don't want. Oops, I've made this on the wrong side. See me? Let's go back. What we did there should be in the front view. Excuse my error. Okay, loop cuts again. So we have one. Two. Excuse me, I'll just close this. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, three. And four. five and six. So once we've drawn those in, we can go along and select these faces, same as we just did a moment ago. E, enter, normal view, and we'll drag that in. So there's our ribbing on the front. Now on the side here, You can see we have the straight edges. So we're just going to select these faces. 
Um, do want to make a small loop cut though here. And again on this side. Now we'll go and grab these faces here. Need to extrude, enter, and then we'll drag that in. Like so. Same on this side. Loop cut on the right and on the left. Face select and we'll grab these faces along here. E to extrude and enter and drag those in. Okay, now finally the back side uh, is going to be the same as the front. So again, loop cuts, we're going to want one. And two. Three. And four. And two more. Here makes five. And six. I'll grab these faces. E to extrude and enter. Drag them in. And we're done. Back out into object mode. There we have the bottom part of R2D2 done. The only thing that we're lacking now is just the hole in the bottom for the leg to come out from. So that's easy enough to draw. Let's go to a bottom view, out into edit mode. So what I'm gonna do here is grab this face, delete it, edge select, select the ring at the bottom there, E to extrude, S to scale, and this hole in the bottom is going to be narrow but almost the same length. You can see there, it's just a very um, small gap at the front. So, to do that, we'll then scale it in the y axis. Like so. Let's get a little bit more in the X. Okay. Then we will extrude upwards. And again, we're going to scale it in so it doesn't overlap anywhere and show on the outside. Whoopsie daisies. There's a the right side view. Need to extrude, but I want to extrude up. So, right side view, need to extrude, I'll extrude that upwards. There we go. Now we can go to a uh, global coordinates and we can drag it inside like so check back to reference image so maybe it tapers in a little bit so what we'll do is scale on the X axis and once we're done with that we'll make face and there we go Back into object mode, there's the bottom of our R2-D2 done and ready for us to begin work on the arms and the legs. 
So I hope you find this tutorial useful. Don't forget also to hit the like button to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already to follow along with this tutorial series and check out the link at the bottom of the video where you can download this project file. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.